roads turn to rivers, sidewalks to shores, and parking lots to lakes as torrential rains hit the Washington, D.C. area. It just opened up on me, so I knew there was no chance, but hey, you got an appointment, you got to keep it. So this is me trying to get there and seeing cars literally underwater. So this is just insane. Sparking a flash flood emergency. Some spots receiving more than three inches of rain in one hour. When I saw that the, the water was reaching my headlights, I thought, no, 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 get out of this. According to the National Weather Service, more than a dozen high water rescues have been reported. First responders and Good Samaritans alike helping drivers caught in rapidly rising waters during rush hour. Around here, I figured I know the, I know the landscape pretty well. I know how deep the roads are. You can see some certain points like halfway up a fire hydrant might only be a couple feet deep. So you can kind of use some sort of inferences to know how deep it is, but it's always a risk. Amtrak suspending train service south of the nation's capital. As the extremely heavy rain continued to fall, emergency responders begging drivers to stay off the roads. There's always a risk when you're trying to ford a river uh, or any sort of standing water. In Washington, I'm Kristen Holmes.